This morning we continue following developments in a North Attleboro murder investigation that has former New England Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez sitting in jail this morning. Yesterday Hernandez was back in court. This time he was in Fall River hoping to be granted bail. After he was charged with the murder of Odin Lloyd, prosecutors and defense lawyers made their arguments to the judge. This is a case where, at least as far as we know, there is no eyewitness testimony, there are no inculpatory admissions, there has been no indication of any direct evidence. There was a number of injuries as the uh, victim was shot. He attempted to defend himself by putting up his arm. The first round struck him in the uh, outside of his forearm, traveled through the inside of the forearm and entered his body, the right abdomen. Seven, seven, zero. In the end, the judge sided with prosecutors, meaning Hernandez is going to stay locked up for now. In the meantime, police have announced that they are searching for a third suspect connected with the case. Eyewitnesses reporter Andrew Adamson is live at Hernandez's North Attleboro home again, and there was more police activity there overnight. Right, Andrew? Yeah, that's right, Patrick. You know, not just overnight. Within the last hour, hour and a half or so, Boston police officers were inside of Aaron Hernandez's North Attleboro home. They left recently. They didn't leave with anything from the home. Not exactly sure what they were searching for, but they were inside that home. We do know that. Now, they are also searching for, as you mentioned, a third suspect in this Aaron Hernandez investigation. It's a man that police want that they believe to be armed and extremely dangerous. We're going to show you a picture of him right now. This is 41 year old Ernest Wallace. He also goes by the nicknames Bo and fish. Police describe him as being a very heavy build with active felony warrants in Massachusetts. He was last seen driving a silver Chrysler 300 with Rhode Island license plates. That vehicle matches the description of one mentioned in Hernandez's arraignment. We're also going to show you this picture of Carlos Ortiz. That's the 27 year old man that police arrested Wednesday in Bristol, Connecticut, which is Hernandez's hometown. We can now confirm that he is connected to the Hernandez investigation. Court paperwork shows Ortiz lived and was arrested in the Bristol home of Hernandez's uncle on Wednesday. We reported that Ortiz was ordered held on one and a half million dollars bond and that he waived extradition to Massachusetts. Now, according to an affidavit from a Massachusetts State Police trooper, Ortiz admitted to carrying a handgun and a firearm on the day of June 17. That is the same day that Odin Lloyd was shot and killed not very far from here, just a couple blocks away from this North Attleboro home here. Now, coming up in our next half hour, we are going to show you new video of the police search that happened earlier on in the morning. We're also going to have more on this investigation. That's all coming up in a half hour. For now, live with Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.